you don't need to be sold on the advantages of doing a swap from a carburetor to electronic fuel injection. You know that the systems on the market today are better than they've ever been. You know that you don't need a laptop or a ton of tuning experience to be successful. You know your car is going to start better, it's going to run better, and it's going to be more fun to drive after you do the swap. But something's holding you back. Now you may be the kind of gearhead who hates doing electrical work, and you're especially worried about having to find a separate ignition solution. One thing that's definitely on your mind is the price. Compared to anything but a really high-end racing carburetor, EFI is frankly pretty expensive. Well, we've come across a company called Fitec that's tackling those objections head-on with a lineup of EFI systems that offer a ton of value and a lot of high-end features at entry-level prices. We're here visiting their facility in Riverside, California to get the full details on their fuel injection products and take a look at some that they've installed on their cars. First up is the Go EFI 4 system. Now at under $1,000, this is a throttle body EFI system that will support naturally aspirated engines up to 600 horsepower. At that price, you may be wondering what features they left out, but the truth is that this has got a lot of stuff that more expensive systems don't even offer. Now it can operate with your existing ignition setup, or it can drive a coil directly because it's got built-in total ignition and timing control. It's also got a programmable fan control output. All of the electronics, with the exception of the handheld controller, the coolant temperature sensor, and the wideband oxygen sensor are all built into the throttle body, so there's no big harness to drape over your engine. And all of the sensors are OEM style, so they're reliable and they're easily replaceable. On the fuel side, the pressure regulator is built right in too, and if you decide to go with the optional fuel command center, you don't even need to run a return line. Now, if you do decide to use a return style fuel system, there's a built-in voltage control setup that will allow you to slow the pump down when the car's at idle to reduce noise and heat. Frankly, it's pretty amazing how much they've managed to pack in there, especially when you consider the $995 price tag. Now, for 90% of the people out there who are doing an EFI conversion, this is going to be all they ever need and more. Okay, let's say you're running forced induction. Blow through turbo, centrifugal supercharger, root style draw through blower. Phytech has you covered with their power adder version of the Go EFI 4 for just a little bit more money. It's still rated to support up to 600 horsepower and it'll work with up to 25 pounds of boost straight out of the box. Now for nitrous fans, it'll run a single stage wet kit with air fuel correction. And whether you're running boost or spray, it's got built in ignition retard capability. It's even got a built-in air conditioning kick-up function, a second channel of fan control, built-in data logging, and the ability to tune via laptop. The Go EFI 4 gets its name from the four fuel injectors that are built into the throttle body. So when you see the Go EFI 8, you can probably guess how many injectors it's got. Now doubling the number of injectors doubles the amount of horsepower it'll handle, but this top-of-the-line system from Phytech will happily run anything from 250 to 1200 horsepower. It's got all the same features as the Go EFI 4 Power Adder version, including the ability to handle up to 25 pounds of boost or run a single stage of wet nitrous. Now for just under $1,500, we haven't seen anything that has this much bang for the buck. The Go EFI 2x4 will handle up to 625 horsepower naturally aspirated engines. And because the throttle bodies are so compact, it's a direct bolt-on for most popular dual quad manifolds without requiring any spacers, turning the throttle body sideways, or goofy throttle linkages. The Go EFI 2x4 Power Adder system was designed specifically for 671 or 871 blowers, and it's good for up to 1,200 horsepower. No matter which Phytech system you're looking at, they all feature easy setup with a handheld controller and fast and accurate self-tuning. They all feature Phytech's unique wet flow annular discharge design as well, which improves fuel atomization and distribution for better performance and excellent cylinder-to-cylinder -cylinder consistency. Phytech built their business on being the 995 EFI guys, but it's clear to us that they've packed a lot of quality and a lot of technology into everything they make. Now, we've only scratched the surface here. For more information, visit them online at phytechefi.com or give them a call at 951-340-2624.
Now this is a badass Pantera, and that clearly puts out more than 500 horsepower. It's a great throttle body, but not all of us are looking for 500 or 600 horsepower. So what does Phytech offer for the car guy with a crate motor? Let's go find out. So Phytech understands that not every customer needs or wants a 600 horsepower engine. So Jason, this system is for a different type of customer, right? Absolutely. This is our Go Street system. It's designed for engines making up to 400 horsepower. And it's really our entry level base system, but that doesn't mean it, it leaves out any of the features. You get all the self-learning technology of our Go EFI systems, as well as things like electric fan control, AC kickup, uh, wideband O2 sensor all included for the bargain price. And this is the kit that really has put us on the map. Um, you get our color touchscreen handheld programmer, simple four wire wiring harness. Here's the wideband O2 sensor. There's the throttle body itself, which as you can see is about the same size as a carburetor. And it Bolt. looks good. Absolutely, looks like a carburetor, bolts right in place on your four barrel intake manifold, no special adapters needed. And it hooks right up to basically any 12 volt ignition system. And as long as you have a high pressure fuel pump, 12 volt ignition and you install the components as we describe in our instructions, you're set to go. So this is more for the everyday customer? Absolutely, for your everyday user. Um, a lot of customers have the 350 horse crate motor somewhere along that lines, and this is the system for that engine. And no more smelly gas with cold starting. Absolutely, uh, it takes that funky choke mechanism or pumping the gas 10 times to get your car started, <laughs> eliminates that problem, you turn the key on, wait for it to pressurize, fire it right off within three seconds and you're up and running. Good to go. Jason, we see those guys on the side of the road and they're on their laptop and they're working for hours and hours trying to get their system up and running. How is yours better? Our system is fully self-learning with a few user inputs. Mainly it needs to know the cubic inch size of your engine and a little bit about your camshaft and your target idle speed. That's all the system needs to know and it's ready to start learning as soon as you turn the key and fire the engine off. So we're able to incorporate OE style self-learning technology into a user-friendly, consumer-ready package. It's that simple. So you made an engine change. You finally decided to go up in horsepower. Maybe a stroker motor, maybe a big block Chevrolet crate motor. The horsepower is getting up there. You need a new solution. How about something with patented technology for performance, reliability, and ease of setup? Self-learning technology. This is great. Check out the mean street. So here's the deal, you finally graduated from your small block crate motor, now you're going up to stroking engines. You're, you're looking for big block action, all the way up to let's say 800 horsepower. Right. That's when you hit the mean street. What does this bring to the table for someone in that you know, high horsepower level? Well what it brings to the table is the ease of drivability, the cold mm -hmm. start, the, yeah. you know, just everything that EFI brings to the table along with the power capabilities of that big cubic inch engine. So you've got eight high flow injectors in there capable of 800 horsepower, mm -hmm. plus the simplicity of an EFI kit and a Phytech EFI kit, which is self-learning, everything included, set up right through the handheld, and with the Mean Street EFI, you know, the 30,008 part number, you can go in, plug in a laptop if you want to, as you graduate up to it, not that you need to, you've got a, a versatile system. And what's unique about this is we made this to be a true carb replacement. So this system does not have timing control in it. We're assuming mm -hmm. that a guy making that kind of power, they've already got a good ignition system in their car. They've mm -hmm. got their, their good CDI box. They want to keep that there. They want to take off their carburetor. They want to bolt on the EFI system and they want to run it. So we've also built in some nice features for uh, guys that are running like a, a two-step. And mm -hmm. you know we've got all of those little race features built in there. So there's a lot more to the mean street than just our typical street style or performance EFI kits. The mean street's for the guy that wants just a little more. When you talk about the mean street, there's a lot here. How does this actually make power? How does it flow? Well, the difference is the way we inject the fuel. Mm -hmm. So typically, um, on a port system, the fuel is injected down, way down in the runners, right by the valve. But we've taken a different approach and we've lifted the injectors way up, even actually above the butterflies. 
So with that came a challenge, and we've almost mimicked the way a carburetor flows. In fact, we've even improved on the way it flows, and we've introduced an annular discharge system in a swirl pattern, and it just works really well. It's good enough that we've got a patent on it, so. Well, I can see why. You know, drivability and, and self-learning technology at that level is truly amazing. This killer 79 Trans Am belongs to Kenny Farrell, and on it is a great example of an ultimate LS system. I'm told that the average person can put one of those on in a weekend. Let's go talk with Jason, the Director of Product Development here at Phytech, about how you can too. Hey guys, I'm here with Jason at Phytech, and we're talking about the different EFI self-learning systems that they offer, yeah. beginning with the one for the do-it-yourself hot rudder. Today, Courtney, we have our Ultimate LS kit, which is a package designed for the do-it-yourselfer to swap an LS engine to whatever their latest project is, whether it's a rock crawler, street rod, muscle car, whatever you want to put that LS power in, we're making a package to put that in your vehicle. Which LS engines do um, these Our LS kits work with everything from your Cathedral Port, uh, original LS1 engine or the Vortec truck engines, to the latest LS3 crate engines. We have something for that. Even the LS7 Corvette engine, we have a manifold for that. And as well as we make applications for uh, trucks and the sheet metal intake manifold to use a little bit taller intake so that you fill up the engine bay a little bit more, it makes a little bit more torque. Okay, now I see two totally different manifolds here. So which would be for which customer? Okay, so we have our uh, performance-based sheet metal manifold. It's got a little bit shorter runner. It's got a higher RPM range. It's definitely the horsepower king. Okay. And we have our new Torque Plus composite manifold, which is designed for anyone looking for the ultimate in lowest height and lowest uh, appearance in their engine bay, but want the most performance and torque out of it because it's got the long runners but the short height overall. So longer runners, more torque. Absolutely. Our systems also have an automatic trans control built in, which many people aren't aware of, but the automatic trans control will run your 4L60 or 4L80 transmission, all in one ECU, one controller, no more multiple systems to make everything function, everything in one complete package. And all at a low, low price, uh, not much more than a stripped down harness and ECU out of a factory view. Awesome, so it's affordable, and this is easy to put in your ride. Absolutely, it uses our uh, known self-learning technology, which is one of the things that put us on the map in the EFI world, is our system is extremely easy to use. I mean, realistically, if you can plug in a couple wires and you can put inputs in on a handheld controller, you can get our system up and going. You can't beat that. Easy to use and affordable. Absolutely. Now, where would we find this? To find out all the information, go to www.fitechefi.com. Everybody, I'm your man Dennis Pitsenberger. We're here at SEMA Show, and it is Power Auto Media with my friend Jason from Fitech. Now, you know, you know, I'm a user. You know, I'm an owner. You know, I love the stuff. But there's still guys out there that haven't converted, and they love that look of that 4150 Holly carburetor. But you guys have bridged the gap with your retro LS kit. Let's talk about how cool it is. Sure. For 2017 SEMA Show, we have the retro LS kit. Combines a 4150 style throttle body, bolts onto virtually any four barrel intake manifold for the LS engine. But then it combines all of our LS technology into a compact ECU. So you get automatic trans control, you get 24 or 58X reluctor wheel control, you get the ability to control the flow rate of the four injectors, uh, full timing control with coil pack drivers, uh, everything else you've been accustomed with with our Ultimate LS kit, but for that retro look that fits under a standard air cleaner and gives your LS that classic look everyone's really looking for. And of course, we've got a special color. What do we call it? 
classic carburetor gold. Oh, I love that. You know, the thing about Fitech is you're looking through to what the customers want to see on their cars. Now, what's been the feedback so far here at SEMA on this new product? The feedback has been phenomenal. Everyone loves it. They want to put it on their car. They want to know when they can get it and where to get it from. So go to www.fitechefi.com. You know what? He said the website. I'll tell you where to go. It's right there. Power Auto Media SEMA show coverage. A few of the problems to consider when converting your system from a carburetor to a fuel injection system is getting the right volume and pressure that you're going to need. We've invited Ken here from Phytech. We're going to take a look at some of their offerings to help us solve those problems. So this is the original kit that started it all for Phytech, right? Yeah, that's our 40,005 inline kit. The kit's really versatile. It comes with all the parts that you need to put it in, and we keep that as like what we call a standalone kit. So you could buy that whether you're using a Phytech EFI kit or kind of any kit. And this requires a return line, right? Yeah, that requires that you go from your tank to your throttle body or you know fuel rail system and then back to the tank. So talk to me about the noise on it. A lot of people say out of tank pumps can be noisy. So an out of the frame, you know, out of the tank pump is just a little bit noisier than an in tank pump because it doesn't have the fuel and the tank to baffle the sound of the pump. But some of the things we did at Phytech is we have a thing called pulse width modulation. So when you buy a Phytech EFI, we right. have a way to control the voltage to the pump and we could reduce at certain driving conditions like idle and low, you know, low speed cruising. We could turn down the speed of the pump and we could make it a little quieter. So we've got another inline pump kit here. Explain to me what the difference between these two kits are. Well, the reason this one is on the table is because this kit's only available when you buy a Phytech EFI master kit. So if you want to buy one of our kits with an inline fuel system, you know, frame mounted pump kit, this is the kit you'd get. But you know, there are some slight differences that go along with that. Um, the filters require some of the, you know, the EFI hose clamps. We give you some of the parts that go back to get you back into the tank for the return. All of this is high quality billet. You could take the, th the filters apart, wash them. You know, it's the same quality pump. You know, we didn't skimp out on anything. In fact, we give you a little more hose in this kit. So you can go all the way to your throttle body or your LS intake manifold, and then all the way back to your tank. So paired with this kit, that master kit gives you everything you need to update your fuel system. Right, everything for the frame mounted pumps. So take me through the fuel command center. You said that this is one of the easiest ways for somebody to go straight from carburation to EFI, is that right? Absolutely, it's because a guy's got a carburetor on there. They've either got a pump on their engine or they've got an electric pump, but they're running low pressure EFI. Right, we need to convert that to high pressure, correct? Right, exactly. And guys don't wanna pull their tank down, they don't wanna change their fuel lines back. You know, guys want the easy way out, so they take the line off their carburetor, they move it over, they hook it to the low pressure in, the tank fills up, a, you know, pumps out high pressure, and they're done. Right, and this is mounted fairly close to the engine, so there's not a ton of plumbing that goes into this. Well, right? yeah, and the plumbing that you need comes in it. It's got the high pressure fittings, it's got the filter, it's got the hose, but you know, there's a couple of things you have to do with it. You know, you do have to run a vent line back to your tank. Right, So and that yeah. means modifying your tank when running a vent line back? Well, or not always. You... A lot of tanks, you know, have a vent line provision okay. in it. And if it doesn't, you could put a, you know, put a vent line into your filler neck. Right, and not terribly hard to do anything. It's not like terribly that. hard, but you have to do it. If you don't want to do it, send the part back. Right. It's not an option. And noise-wise, comparatively to the inline pump. Oh, these things are silent. Substantially quieter. Substantially then. quieter, yeah. So a carburetor guy going over to EFI, this kit makes it a snap, this yeah. master kit. This here. is the easiest thing to put in. You know, do it the right way, you got nothing to worry about. So let's move on to an area I'm a little bit more familiar with, your surge tanks. These are your G-surge surge tanks. Uh, kind of take me through the differences. Does it matter what kind of fuel pressure it's getting coming into it at all? Well, that's a good question, um, because some guys will be converting these from their existing carburetor system, or they may have an EFI system. But the trick to it is you're gonna be taking the regulator out of it. So you could use a carburetor pump, you could use an EFI pump, but you're gonna take the EFI um, or carburetor regulator, remove that, 
and you're going to run your, um, your fuel pump unrestricted. So we're going to be filling this tank up with the low pressure and that could be mounted, you know, straight up and down at a 45 degree angle and, you know, all the fuel's being repurged out. Right. So even if you pick up a pocket of air in your existing gas tank, that'll be purged out right, of this. Right, because it's just gonna sit at the top of this tank, right, and the pickups are on the bottom, so you're never getting that air anywhere near the pickups on this. Exactly. You know, if you're hitting bumps, if you're pulling a high corner, if you're going into a slalom or something like that and sloshing the fuel around, you know, this is constantly staying fuel. What about mounting locations for this? Like, in the car, on the frame, in the engine bay, what are we talking about with this? Well, you can mount this thing anywhere. That's the reason why this thing's a little bit cheaper than the command center. We don't supply some of the fittings and hoses and filters that come with it because we really don't know where you're gonna mount it. You can use them in a drag race application, in a autocross application, off-road. These things will do up to 1,600 horsepower when used with both pumps on the Right, if you're using both to feed the motor. Right, but a good alternative for the dual pump is just to have an extra pump ready to go. It's very versatile. And then we've got your street version here that is internally pressure regulated, right? Yeah. The, we only run with the uh, regulator here, we limit those to 340 liters per hour. Great for like, say, an LS application that uses that returnless system, this would work great in that application. For any EFI application. So we've talked about a couple of our other setups. Uh, let's talk about the high fuel. It takes the most to get in the car, but it also offers the most benefit, right? Well, the first thing that you're gonna notice when you put these kits in is that they're super quiet. The pump is just sitting in a bath of, of colder fuel and that's gonna keep it as, as cool as it can. It's one of the better situations for, for your pump's life. Right, and with the mass of fuel, you're preventing that cavitation and heat you other otherwise would have put into that entire fuel system. Exactly, it's less than an inch tall. Right, so really low profile. Yeah, because some of these tanks are stuck really tight up you know, under the floor of your trunk. Right. You know, we've got really low profile on this and one of the other features that we put in there is we've got a regulator built into it. Right. So it doesn't mean you need to run the regulator. You could take that out, uh, put a little block off in it. We put the regulator up on the top so that if you need to vacuum or boost reference it, you could do it. Right. You know, there are some brands out there that have them inside the tank. You can't get to it, you can't boost reference it. The uh, fuel pressure pumps out through the fitting up to the regulator. You regulate it and that's what makes the pressure. Gotcha. Then return back and you can return back to either one of these, depending on whether you want to come down the passenger frame rail or the, um, you know, the driver's frame rail, and back into the tank. Right. Another feature that we have is that the hangers for this are really strong billet. So it's all screwed in, and we make these pretty handy adapters. So the kit comes being able to adjust from six inches, nice and short. You could adjust this down to a 14 inch deep, even put it in like a fuel cell, if a guy wanted to mount it in a fuel cell. Right. And this, this fuel sock helps keep the, the fuel pump fed at all times, right? Yeah, if this fuel sock is touching fuel, it'll pick it up. Right. So are these available in just the single pump offering or is there a dual pump offering as well? Yeah, these are available in single and dual pump. The difference being the single comes with the regulated option and the dual, just like the G-Surge, is only available in unregulated. And when we were coming out with this product, the best thing that, you know, the best feeling that we had about this is we thought we had it all nailed. We were happy that we had something a little bit different. You know, it looked cool. It had some of the best features we thought out there. And, you know, we couldn't think of another thing we wanted to add to it. You know, that was the best feeling when we looked down the list of features and we were just like, you know, sat back there and said, you know, I think we got this thing nailed. It had everything. It had the internal regulator. You could take it out. We had the, you know, the great pumps. It, you know, was low profile. We had the, the O-ring feature added to it. You know, it was just cool. We, we, had, we take pride in what we do. Thanks for coming out and explaining all this to us, Ken. Appreciate it. And uh, if you want to know more, head over to Phytech's website. We'll see you next time. This is Ken Farrell, the president of Phytech's own Pantera. I've actually ridden in it with him, and I can tell you he corners a little aggressively at times. So the G-Surge tank that I see in there is actually the perfect product for this car. Let's go talk with Ken and find out more about it. Ken, 
this hyperfuel G Surge pump is awesome. Well, thanks, but um, it's actually not just a pump. It looks like a giant pump. It does. And uh, guys say, where are they going to put this giant thing? But um, you're going to put it anywhere you can because you need one of these things. And I'll show you why. It's a mini fuel tank with a pump built inside of it. So what we have here is a 340 liter pump, and that's in a small fuel reservoir. And this thing will work out on a 45 degree angle, so guys that are using off-road rock crawlers, drag racing, you know, autocrossing, basically anything that's gonna be, you know, possibly pulling fuel away from the original pickup. You need this. Yeah, exactly, you need something like this. So the only time that you wouldn't be getting fuel for your ride is if you're completely out of gas. Yeah, if this thing, if your car runs out of gas with this thing, you're just out of gas. Right. That's it, you know, there's no heat problems with these things because there's constant circulation, there's no float inside of it, there's, there's just no issues. And we've got these things, the single will work up to 800 horsepower, we've got the dual that'll work up to 1600 horsepower, you see the two outlets that show the two pumps in here. And then we've got one with a regulator inside of it as well, for guys that want to run a single line, and you know they don't have to regulate it up at the tank. I love that you guys think about everybody. Uh, we do, and um, they, they'll be good for anything. So if you're using a throttle body system, you know it'll work on that. If you've got an LS conversion, something with the rails, you know it's good for that. You know anything EFI, work with it. You can even regulate it down and use it with a carburetor. You've got all our cars covered. Yeah, we got it covered. This is Cody Marquez's 66 Mustang. It's his daily driver, but he's also equipping it for the track too. He has a perfect product from Fitech for his car, which is the high fuel in-tank retrofit kit. Let's go talk with Ken and find out more about it. Ken, let's talk about the high fuel intake retrofit kit. Okay, yeah, what we have here today is a um, in-tank retrofit kit for guys that have a carburetor style gas tank that want to put an EFI style pump into it. This will fit virtually any tank, right? Yeah, we made it adjustable and we made this thing modular. So you, you've got these little extensions that screw on and the billet adapter here, this thing will slide down, you put the sock on it, and we sell extensions, so this thing will slide down and up, and you know, it's very universal. Okay. So this thing's a cool feature, and it's what we call the O-ring adapter. So if you've got like a fuel cell, or if you have a pump that has, a, you know, a tank with a little extra room on top mm -hmm. of it, it's really cool, because you could mount this thing on once, and you don't need to ever buy a new gasket if you want to remove it and do any servicing or looking inside your tank, checking the foam out. So it's a really cool system to get in there, really well put together, all the parts and pieces come with it. We give you the oversized sock to go with it. You know, everything's really nice engineered, hard anodized, comes with all the push lock hoses, the good pumps. You know, one of the nice features on this thing though that we have to talk about is the built-in regulator. So that really, really makes for a nice part. It allows you to run a single line up to the throttle body, up to the fuel rails, or you could run by putting in this block off plate and taking out the regulator. You could use a regulator up on the rail or a regulator on the throttle body. And then you just run a return line back to either if you're running it on the passenger or on the driver's side, you'd pick one of these ports as your return. So can EFI fuel pumps, are these things noisy or? So what we've done is we've taken an, a 340 liter fuel pump, which is good to about 800 horsepower, and you know that's inside the inside the fuel tank, so that's got constant cool fuel around it. And these things will just last forever. They're reliable, and they make you know virtually no noise. I mean, you may hear a little bit when you turn the key on, but once you got that mean, you know, deep exhaust, you don't hear anything. Can't beat that. Yeah. 